No, don't buy Kerbal Space Program 2. Buy Kerbal Space Program 1. Okay, thanks for watching my video, everyone. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Okay, but seriously, why am I making this video? Regular viewers of this channel, who are the absolute coolest people, by the way, will be well aware of the catastrophe that was Kerbal Space Program's AAA big-budget blockbuster sequel. But still, to this day, I get comments on videos from people asking if they should get KSP1 or if they should get KSP2. And I made a recent post on the KSP subreddit, and there were a couple of people in the comments who had no idea about the KSP2, uh, situation. So I felt there was a niche to be filled here. A PSA from a big YouTuber who is most known for being associated with Kerbal Space Program. There's literally not really any way for me to say this without sounding supremely arrogant, but bar Scott Manley, I am one of the biggest YouTube channels associated with Kerbal Space Program. And Scott doesn't really make content on the game much nowadays anyway. So if you search up Kerbal Space Program, it's often my content that ranks near the top. So I figured I should use my powers for good and make a video with the title and search engine optimized description geared towards people who might be searching up which Kerbal Space Program to buy. And the answer is Kerbal Space Program, not Kerbal Space Program 2. If the overwhelmingly positive reviews of the OG game versus the overwhelmingly negative reviews of the sequel weren't deterrent enough, then I want to give you a brief summary as to why you should avoid KSP2. <clears throat> Oversimplified history of Kerbal Space Program 2's development. Development began in secret in around 2017, and then in 2019, the game was announced for a full release in 2020. It was then apparent that the developers had not, in fact, got anything close to resembling a working game by this point, and the development studio, Star Theory, was essentially trying to squeeze more money from the publisher, Take Two Interactive, who said no to their demands, and made their own studio called Intercept Games to work on the game instead, and poached many of the Star Theory devs that ultimately led to the closure of Star Theory. There were then lots more delays and behind-the-scenes corporate self-sabotage that really go beyond the scope of this video that resulted in the game still barely being releasable in 2022. The higher-ups then decided that enough was enough though, and they try and recoup as much of their investment as possible, and ordered the release of Kerbal Space Program 2 into early access in February 2023. And when the release came out, the game was not met with much positivity. The game barely ran and was riddled with bugs, from minor annoyances like UI glitches to game breakers like the Kerbal Space Center itself literally teleporting to space. Over the course of 2023, patches, new content, and performance improvements were released, albeit at a glacial pace, but by the end of the year, the game was still not even feature par with Kerbal Space Program 1, and with over a decade of modding support for KSP1, the graphics of KSP2 weren't really any better either. And then, in mid-2024, it was discovered that Take-Two Interactive had really decided that enough was enough and had pulled the plug on the project entirely, firing all the developers working on KSP2. Which leaves the game in this weird limbo state. It's still not got all the features of Kerbal Space Program 1, and with no developers working on it now, it's apparently never going to reach the same heights as the first game ever did. But here's the thing, the game is still on the Steam Store, and it still says it's in early access, with a roadmap and a trailer showing all the upcoming features that are now not being worked on and will therefore never materialise all charged at a price greater than the cost of Kerbal Space Program 1. The last real messaging we have from any kind of official source is from the KSP Twitter account, which posted that we are still hard at work on KSP 2, we will talk more when we can. Which was six months ago, by the time this video was published, and we've had no communication whatsoever ever since. Now, why should you get Kerbal Space Program 1? because it's the best. You can build rockets and stuff, and go explore a really exciting solar system. And the game is hard, like, it, it's really hard. It took me ages just to get a rocket to orbit when I first started playing. But no game I've ever played ever gave me the sheer euphoria I felt when I finally reached orbit for the first time. 
Except maybe Kerbal Space Program again, when I managed to land on the moon Minmus for the first ever time. With Scott Manley as my co-pilot, of course. <laughs> I could just make a video gushing about how much I love Kerbal Space Program 1 and why I truly believe it is one of the greatest games of all time. But truthfully, I am clearly a biased source here. Just take a look at my channel. I wouldn't have an almost 10 year back catalogue of hundreds of videos of me playing this game if I didn't love the thing. So go ahead, check out one of those videos if you want to. There should be two videos on screen right now if you want to go ahead and check either of them out. There's also a big list of names on the right who are my amazing supporters who allow me to keep on making these videos about this amazing game so thank you so much if your name is there but otherwise i hope this video was helpful for any undecided buyers and maybe i'll see you again in another Kerbal space program video